PC platform launch. I loved seeing all of your excitement when we introduced the Ryzen 5000 series a few weeks ago. It was actually the most watched launch video in AMD history. And I must say, we're very proud of what Zen 3 brings to gamers. But today is all about Big Navi. I'm really excited to show you the new RDNA 2 architecture and our full stack of Radeon RX 6000 series products. As you know, we brought the first generation of RDNA architecture to market in 2019 with the Radeon RX 5700 XT. And with the combined launch of the 5700 XT and the Ryzen 3000 series, AMD became the first company to introduce a high-performance CPU and GPU together. And we delivered a winning combination of computing and gaming performance, including CPU and GPU of the Year in 2019 from PC Gamer. Now, 2020 is really the year of the gamer. I know many of you can't wait to get your hands on the next-gen consoles, whether it's the Microsoft Xbox Series X and Series S or the Sony PlayStation 5. We are, we are so, so proud that AMD is enabling these incredible gaming experiences, which, which is why we like to say that AMD is where gaming begins. Now, now earlier this month, I showed you our new AMD Ryzen 5000 series, the world's best gaming processor. processor. Our next-gen Ryzen processor, processor combines absolute performance leadership in single-threaded performance, gaming, and creative workloads with leadership performance per watt. And, and for millions of you, it's, it's a drop-in upgrade to your, your existing AM4 motherboard. motherboard. Now, now, as successful as, successful as we've been with Ryzen, many of you have asked us to compete at the highest end of gaming GPUs as well. And today, we're ready to show you exactly what we've been working on. I'm so excited to show you the architecture, we're, we're on, on a multi-year multi journey in GPUs with our RDNA architecture. We designed RDNA specifically for gaming, and our first-gen RDNA products deliver for 50% better performance per watt over our GCN architecture. We wanted to take another Another big step with RDNA 2 and deliver another 50% generational improvement in per per watt. And with our 7 nanometer process technology. Big Navi is our first product powered by RDNA 2. We have made incredible progress on the architectural front. And, and now, now let me turn, turn it over to AMD, AMD fellow Laura Smith to give you more details on the architecture. Thank you, Lisa. Our, Our graphics architecture roadmap has a clear goal. Gaming leadership across the ecosystem. The GCN was a great architecture, but we knew we needed to rethink graphics and build the best engine for the future. We wanted to build a set of technologies that game developers could use across all platforms. The first major step was RDNA, introduced last year. RDNA was a new architecture and used a 7 nanometer process. process node, which, which helped us with the large initial gains. gains. We committed to you that our engineers had plans in the works for RDNA 2, and we would be back quickly with another significant improvement. By combining our expertise in CPU design, deep gaming history, and broad ecosystem partnerships, RDNA 2 2 is built to be the gaming architecture for all gamers across console, PC, and beyond. We had some very ambitious goals with RDNA 2. Significantly higher performance, 50% improvement in performance per watt, and new hardware features. Individually, each of these goals is challenging. When combined, they become extremely difficult because as you push performance, a natural side effect is more power. New features also mean more computation, further challenging both speed and power metrics. 
For, for our DNA, too, we, we made significant gains in all these areas. areas. The, the compute, compute unit is the core of the architecture. We advanced all aspects of the compute unit design, leveraging techniques first developed in CPUs. We deployed pervasive fine-grained clock gating, reimagined the pipeline to aggressively maximize performance while minimizing data movement. In combination, these elements made the compute units 30% more energy efficient, allowing them to be pushed faster. Gaming at 4K requires more data to be brought into the chip. The, the amount of data more than doubles as we move from 1440p to 4K. The more efficient the memory subsystem is, the higher fidelity the images are, and the more you can push the frame rates. We took a new approach to solving this technical challenge for gaming and deployed a graphics-optimized, high-density, high-speed cache based on the Zen L3 cache. We, we call this the infinity cache. The infinity cache, the infinity cache minimizes DRAM bottlenecks, latencies, and power consumption. consumption. Our specialized infinity cache, combined with a 256-bit G6 interface, delivers more than twice the effective bandwidth of a traditional 384-bit G6 solution and at lower power consumption. consumption. High frequency is important for gaming performance. Our DNA 2 is built with custom libraries and high-speed design flows, maximizing frequency in 7 nanometer. With our DNA 2, our silicon design and architectural improvements, we are able to deliver 30% faster frequencies in the same 7 nanometer process node. Pulling all this together, the RDNA2 architecture beats our aggressive performance product goal, achieving 54%. With RDNA2, we also focus on bringing new hardware features into the architecture. We partner closely with Microsoft on DirectX 12 ultimate features, including DirectX ray tracing, variable rate shading, mesh shaders, and, and sampler feedback. Our DNA 2 will also support Microsoft Direct Storage API. We're excited about this new API that will enhance the gaming experience by significantly reducing game asset load times from large SSDs. We compared the performance of our DNA 2 to our prior generation. And when we put it all together, on average, our DNA 2 delivers double the performance and, and with, with great, great power efficiency. efficiency. We, we are so proud of what we've accomplished with RDNA 2, and, and we are not stopping. stopping. The, the team is executing to plan, RDNA 2 is here, and the RDNA 3 team is well into execution. Let, Let me welcome Scott Herkelman to show RDNA 2 and our new RX 6000 series products. Hello, Hello to, to all, all of the gamers, gamers tuning in, and welcome to our Radeon RX 6000 series product reveal. As, As a hardcore League of Legends and Borderlands 3 player and playing these games on our RX 6000 series over the past few weeks, I'm so excited and proud to be here with you today. Allow me to introduce you to our brand new AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT graphics card. The 6800 XT is purposefully designed to play all of your favorite AAA games at 4K and below resolution, and at the highest quality settings available. It comes with 72 compute units and runs with a game clock of over 2 gigahertz. This card features a 2.25 gigahertz boost clock that pushes some of the highest frequencies we've ever achieved. All thanks to the incredible work done by our engineering team on the RDNA2 architecture. The 6800 XT will also feature 128 megabytes of Infinity Cache that is power efficient while driving the bandwidth needed for high resolution gaming. Paired with 16 gigabytes of blazing fast GDDR6 memory, you'll be ready for the most demanding high resolution games that you want to play. And we've delivered all of this incredible performance with a total board power of just 300 watts. As you can see, the 6800 XT not only delivers on 4K 60 frames per second, but in most cases, it overperforms. We've been maxing out all the settings in games, like Battlefield 5, Borderlands 3, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and the performance has just been awesome to experience. Let's take a look at how the 6800 XT competes head-to-head -head against the latest offering from the competition. 
here. We, we compared their, their best API, API scores to our, our best API, API scores. The, the best versus the best. best. And, and as, as you can see, the 6800 XT trades blows and has some significant wins across a variety of titles. titles. And it does all of this at less power consumption than the competition. For the 1440p gamers out there, we have some great results for you too. Over the last several years, more and more gamers have adopted 1440p monitors as their display of choice. Here are the same games we showed you before, running the same best versus best API scenario at 1440p resolution. I personally love seeing so many games running at over 100 frames per second with all of the settings maxed out. This is just an incredible amount of performance. All in all, the 6800 XT is a fantastic choice for enthusiast gamers. We even have more performance we are delivering with two very cool features. The first is a one-click overclocking button we built into our Radeon software package that we call Rage Mode. Now, Rage Mode automatically takes advantage of the overclocking headroom built into your GPU to give you every bit of performance it has to offer. And the second is made possible because of the fact that only AMD can deliver both high-performance processors and high-performance GPUs. We, we call, call this new feature AMD Smart Access Memory. AMD Smart Access Memory unlocks the greater amount of high-speed memory from the AMD Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards to the AMD Ryzen 5000 series processors, and it delivers additional levels of performance in games. Simply pair these components with our 500 series chipset motherboards, enable the setting in the BIOS, and the performance uplift becomes automatic. When you combine AMD Smart Access Memory with the one-click overclocking of Rage Mode, you'll get a boost in performance in many of the games you love. We're seeing up to a 13% performance increase, and that's before game developers begin to optimize for this new capability. Now, we, we know a lot of you absolutely love frames per second performance just, just like us. However, we can also improve the game experience by reducing latency. latency. The differences of milliseconds of latency in a competitive game can be the difference between a major win and a major loss. Last year, we pushed the industry to recognize there was a better way to provide competitive gamers with less latency from mouse click to the screen, giving competitive gamers who own the RX 5000 series a serious leg up on their competition. Today, we are pushing the boundaries again and further reducing latency in competitive games for even better results. Combining the latest implementation of Radeon Anti-Lag with the FreeSync monitor can reduce lag in your DX9 and in your DX11 games. In, in Fortnite, Fortnite, for example, gamers, gamers can realize up to 8 milliseconds of latency reduction by simply enabling this feature in Radeon software. More recently, we introduced Radeon Boost, a unique feature that's a step beyond anti-lag. For select games, Radeon Boost offers dynamic resolution in response to your mouse or controller inputs, leading to higher frame rates and, as a result, quicker responses to your input. Both Radeon Anti-Lag and Radeon Boost can be enabled via the Radeon software that comes with your graphics cards, and neither of them require a proprietary API or a game integration to provide latency-reducing benefits. As you can see, the combination of these technologies can contribute up to 37% latency reduction in highly competitive games like Fortnite running at 4K. Now, performance is king, but let's talk for a minute about how we are improving the visual experience as well. With, With full hardware, hardware support for DX12 Ultimate, Ultimate the, the Radeon RX 6000 series is ready to enable ray tracing and variable rate shading in upcoming, upcoming titles. We've, We've also expanded our library of Fidelity FX features to work hand-in-hand hand hand with ray tracing, compute, compute and, and shader effects to enable the higher level of visual fidelity while ensuring high frame rates. For, for DX12 Ultimate, Ultimate, we've added, added an optimized denoiser for ray tracing effects and, and a variable rate shading algorithm that can adapt image quality based upon luminance and motion. We've, we've also added a suite of compute-based effects to be used alongside ray tracing, like, like optimized screen space reflections and an optimized, optimized ambient occlusion. We're, we're always looking to help developers with new initiatives and are already working on a super resolution feature to give gamers an option for more performance when using ray tracing. 
As of today, our AMD Fidelity FX supported games list has grown to 35 titles using a variety of our features. So, let's take a look at some of these new features in an upcoming game with never before seen footage from Counterplay Studios and their fantastic game. Godfall. Godfall, Godfall is, is a brand new third person perspective, perspective next generation looter slasher that challenges gamers to engage in high impact melee combat as they hunt for loot, equip legendary armor, and, and defeat vicious enemies. Leveraging the latest DirectX 12 Ultimate API, Godfall features DirectX ray tracing, variable rate shading, and supports Fidelity FX CAS to, to deliver, deliver incredible levels of stunning fidelity. fidelity. I personally can't wait to play this game, and I think it looks absolutely fantastic. fantastic. Now, now, let's hear from a few more of our game developer partners about the work they've done with us on RDNA 2, and what you can expect in their games coming soon. I'm here, I'm here to, to talk, talk about Far Cry 6 and, and some of the new technologies we've been collaborating with AMD on to make our game the most immersive and beautiful Far Cry ever. We've been working together to take full advantage of the new Radeon RX 6000 series and our DNA 2 architecture for best possible experience. We've been very impressed by AMD's latest tech and joined forces to bring Fidelity FX CAS, DXR Ray Tracing and variable ray shading to Far Cry 6. We're using VRS tier 2 to use a compute shader to generate a control texture which analyzes the luminance and gives us control at an 8x8 tile level as to what shader rate we're going to be using. This enables us to render much more quickly but keep the same quality level. We're excited to team up with great partners like AMD to bring some new features to World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is built on a custom engine using the DirectX 12 Ultimate API. Another great feature on the RX 6000 is the DXR Ray Tracing. Here you can see ray tracing evident and how the shadows are interacting with your character. What you're seeing involves incredibly complex computations on the RX 6000. This is a level of realism that hasn't been possible until recently. The RDNA 2 architecture and the Radeon 6000 series allowed us to introduce some of the latest DirectX 12 Ultimate technologies into our engine. Real-time ray trace shadows allow us to introduce additional shadow casting lights into the scene that provide much more uh, immersion and detail into the world. Over, Over the, the next few weeks, weeks developers, developers of these incredible games will show never-before-seen gameplay with gorgeous graphics that use a combination of ray tracing and fidelity effects running on the Radeon RX 6000 series graphics cards. Be sure to check out amd.com starting tomorrow to see more. I'm happy to announce that the Radeon RX 6800 XT will be available on November 18th starting at $649. But we are not done yet. Today, we are also announcing the Radeon RX 6800 with 60 compute units, a 1.815 gigahertz game clock with a boost clock of over 2.1 gigahertz. It will feature the same 128 megabytes of infinity cache and be available with 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory with a board power of just 250 watts. The Radeon RX 6800 100 is a fantastic entry into 4K gaming, delivering more performance than the 2080 Ti, which was launched at $999. The 6800 delivers over 60 frames per second in all of these games, giving you the confidence you need to step into the 4K gaming experience. That same great performance extends to 1440p resolution, where the RX 6800 tears through the latest games, delivering about about 18% more performance, performance than, than the 2080 Ti, Ti on average. The Radeon, Radeon RX 6800, 6800 will be available to gamers starting at a price of $579 on November 18th. Now, now let's, let's bring, bring back Lisa, Lisa to wrap things up. Thanks, Scott and Laura.
The AMD, AMD Radeon 6800 XT and 6800 deliver simply incredible 4K and 1440p gaming experiences. This is the power of RDNA 2. And, and once we add, add the smart access, access memory technology, technology gamers can, can even get higher frames per second when pairing Radeon 6000 GPUs with Ryzen 5000 series. Now, now I saw online that some of you were wondering which big Navi product, product we previewed during our Ryzen 5000 launch earlier this month. For the record, that was the 6800 XT. But you, you know, we, we always save the best for last, and, and I always get the most fun jobs. So, so today, that means I have one more GPU to show you. We didn't stop with the Radeon RX 6800 XT. We knew that the RDNA 2 architecture could give gamers even more. I'm so excited to share with you, for the very first time, the AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT. Now, isn't this just absolutely gorgeous? And you'll, and you'll see, see that it's actually relatively compact for all the performance that it delivers. It's, it's actually the same size as our 6800 XT card. Our top of the stack Radeon GPU is built for the ultimate in 4K gaming performance. The 6900 XT combines 80 compute units with a 2.25 GHz boost clock to deliver even more performance at the highest settings. With 16 GB of graphics memory, the 6900 XT is ready for the most demanding next-gen games. And, and with, with the power efficiency of RDNA 2, we've been, been able to deliver all of this with a total board power of 300 watts. Now, now Laura showed you that we achieved a 54% generational improvement in perf per watt with the 6800 XT. With the 6900 XT, we improved things even more, hitting 65% more performance per watt over first-gen RDNA. I'm so proud of our engineers who worked incredibly hard to optimize every aspect of RDNA 2 to, to achieve, achieve this performance. performance. Now, now let's see how all of this translates to gaming performance. performance. Running, Running at 4K with the highest settings, the 6900 XT looks absolutely fantastic. fantastic. It's, it's extremely competitive across the board, consistently delivering high frame rates in your favorite games. Just, Just take a look at the performance we see against the competition in Battlefield 5, Call of Duty, and, and Gears of War 5. All of this is at lower power with a smaller card form factor. Now, now, let's, let's talk, talk about price and availability. The AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT will be available on December 8th, starting at $999. You asked for AMD to bring the highest graphics performance to the gaming market, and we're doing just that. I hope you now feel that with the Ryzen 5000 series and the Radeon 6000 series, AMD is your best choice for your next generation PC gaming platform. Whether you want a game with ultimate performance and AAA titles at 4K resolution, or you're, or you're an esports e fan who needs incredibly high frame rates and responsiveness. Across the board, for every gamer, at every price, AMD has a CPU and GPU combination for you. So I hope you're as excited as we are. We can't wait to get these products in your hands. So look for the Ryzen 5000 series starting November 5th, the Radeon RX 6800 series starting November 18th, and the Radeon RX 6900 XT starting December 8th. To wrap up here, this has been quite a journey for us. And, and I'm incredibly proud of our CPU and GPU teams who have worked years for this moment. AMD is delivering the best to the industry. We want to thank all of you for your passion and enthusiasm and for always pushing us to be the best. तो हे गाइस सॉरी फॉर पॉजिंग द वीडियो पर मैं कुछ कहना चाहता हूँ तो दिस वॉज माई फर्स्ट लाइव वीडियो तो मुझे आई मीन कुछ भी एक्सपीरियंस नहीं था बेसिकली मुझे कुछ भी मतलब मैंने फर्स्ट टाइम मैंने किया दो बार मैंने गलती भी की तो हाँ थोड़ा नेटवर्क इशू भी था मैं बीच में बीच में नहीं बोला पर जो लाइव सेशन अगर आपने देखा है तो आई मीन क्या ही होता है एम डी ने एम डी ने तो अपने सी पी यूज़ के बारे में तो कुछ ना कुछ तो आई मीन फिफ्थ नवंबर को लॉन्च होंगे उसके बाद आपको 
लोगों के बेंच मार्क रिव्यू सब मिलेगा ठीक है और रही बात कैविस कट की फाड़ दिया मतलब फाड़ दिया ठीक है एंड सॉरी अगेन अगर आपको ये लाइव स्ट्रीम इतना उतना अच्छा नहीं लगा तो सॉरी फॉर दैट एंड क्या ही करूँ फर्स्ट टाइम है मेरे पास उतना हाई एंड पीसी भी नहीं है मैं उसको अच्छे से स्ट्रीम कर पाऊँ आई थिंक यू हैव सम हार्ड ऑफ इको सो सॉरी ऑल्सो फॉर दैट एंड यस थैंक यू आई नो टू व्यूअर्स हैं उन लोगों के लिए मैं बोल रहा हूँ नहीं है उतने और या इट्स दैट्स ऑल ओके थैंक यू